And we've got another two greats of the game for company this afternoon in Steve Davis and Ken Doherty. Steve, 38 years in the game. You defined an era. <laughs> Ken, 33 years and still going relatively strongly, I have yeah. to say. Nearly made it here this time. But what do you think of this achievement? How do you fathom, 30 years after winning it, today he comes back as world number one? Ronnie O'Sullivan. I think longevity within a sport is a great yardstick of how good you are as a player and as, as a talent. Um, the two things that spring to mind were Ronnie O'Sullivan, the immense talent that's kept him there and also an enthusiasm for the game that sometimes we think he hasn't got, but I think he's got that in abundance. Yeah. Well, it's been an exhausting <laughs> couple of weeks for him, Ken. Obviously, yeah. the, the launch of the new film, the premiere, all the interviews, the press, all of the attention, the excitement. Mm. Um, how motivated and how much time is there for snooker at the moment for <laughs> yeah. him? Well, he hasn't had much time, to be honest. You know, I spoke to him during the week. He was really drained. He pulled out a champion of champions, of course. But this is one tournament that, you know, he likes it on a CV. He's already won it seven times. But this is a real yardstick as well, the UK Champions. a special place, special arena. And he's got a great history, of course, in the tournament. And as Steve said, for all his talent... There's a great drive and there's a great hunger for success and to stay at the top. And what he's doing at this age is just quite incredible. It is indeed. What, what has he opened the window to in terms of his own personal life in this amazing new film that's been released, but also your sport? You've had an amazing window into the pressures that all of you as elite sportsmen and women face in this game. Yeah, I think all solo sports and anybody within those types of games where you just have to walk out on your own would probably uh, look at the Ronnie's film and go, yeah, that's, uh, yeah, I can just deal with that. I know what that feels like. So it's something that every snooker player has to deal with, the fact that when you walk out onto this table, you are on your own and you're in your own little world and you have to deal with that. And that can cause its own pressures. Each individual will cope with those pressures in different ways, but I think what we've seen is how mercurial uh, and how much of a maverick Ronnie O'Sullivan is, is in the best terms, that the fact that probably he quite enjoyed doing the film to give people an insight into what it's like, because it is quite a special achievement to come out here and play in the big events. And I think he loves it, but also there's that love-hate relationship that we all know. Do you relate to that, that love-hate relationship with the game? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's, it's such a lonely sport. You spend a lot of time in your own hotel, you know, even when you're sitting out here and you're sitting in that chair, you're on your own. And when your opponent is at the table, there's nothing you can do. So you, you're talking to yourself all the time. And that was quite evident in that film. And it was, gives people a great insight into what goes through a snooker player. But, uh, yeah, you have to be very, very strong-minded. Absolutely. Well, whenever Ronnie comes to the table in any tournament at all, there's always a sense of excitement, of curiosity. There is an edge whenever he plays. And no wonder with all of his achievements.